Hey guys, I'm Jeff. And I'm Jess. And we're Two Moose Design, and today we're going to show you guys how to make five things on your CNC along with what bits we used, from cutting boards to catch-all trays and a couple things in between. So let's jump right into it. Alright my friends, first item on the list, cutting boards. Everyone loves cutting boards. So this is just a plain simple edge grain cutting board. I make these out of scraps. The same thing with this one over here. And for this one all I did was use a cove bit or a dish bit to cut the juice groove. And then the same thing with this one. But this one I cut into a little bit different shape and that's what's nice about cutting these on the CNC. You can do perfect circles, weird shapes, and you'll always have that juice groove perfectly where you want it versus trying to cut it by hand or making some sort of jig. It's just a lot easier just to do it on the CNC if you have one. So now I'm gonna show you guys what bits I used and then a little bit of cutting action. And the first bit. So I use this to cut the juice grooves. This is a three quarter inch dish bit or bowl bit, whatever you wanna call it. You could also use a cove bit. A half inch bit would work just fine. The three quarter inch is a little bit big for the juice groove. And then the second bit I use for cutting out the cutting boards if it's a weird shape is this quarter inch down cut. A quarter inch up cut will work just fine too but the quarter inch down cut doesn't shred the ore mask, which I use a lot. I can show that in a different video. item on the list. Baby catch-all trays. I call these baby trays. I make these 100% out of my scraps and my offcuts and it's just a great way to use up your pieces. These are a small snatch or grab item. People, I'll, I'll sell this here specifically for like 60 bucks but you price them however you want and I'll probably do a deep dive video on how I make these exactly just so you can replicate these. I've cut them in the shape of cats. Uh, you can pretty much get as creative as you want with these. This one's just a simple round one. It's like eight inches and it has a funny little saying in it. But yeah, I'll show you guys how we're gonna cut these and what bits I used. So for the first bit, I used this, it's a three quarter inch straight bit. You've probably seen these, just, it's just a regular router bit, nothing fancy. But I use this as my roughing bit and it removes the bulk of the material quite fast. And then I use a dish bit. You can cut the whole thing out with the dish bit, but it leaves a little bit of a rougher bottom. And this adds the nice little cove on the inside. And then to cut out the trays, again, I use a quarter, a quarter inch down cut. Up cut works just as well. And then for the fine details, I use, for the most part, I use a 90 degree V bit. I mean, I, it depends on the engraving, but for the most part, I would say this is my most used V bit. 30, 60, 45, and 90 are pretty much all I use.
Here we have our third item that you can use your CMT for. We make CNC clocks. This is one design. There's also this nice big blank spot in the middle where you can add family names or monograms, anything to your customer's desire. These are the bits that we use to engrave the CNC clock. I use an eighth inch down cut bit to cut away most of the material as well as the hole in the center of the clock and the circles around the design. And then I go in with the 90 degree bit and finish up all the small details. So here we have our fourth example. This one is an ottoman tray. We can customize these any way you want with a CNC. On this one, we did a monogram. You can do family names, any sort of customization that the customer wants, and we even did cutout handles on this one. So these are the bits that we used. We started with a quarter inch down cut to cut out the handles, and then we went on to the eighth inch down cut to cut out most of the material on the engraving. And lastly, we used this 90 degree bit to do all the detail work. The next item on the list is coasters. Coasters are an easy thing to make. You can make them with a minimal amount of scraps. I made these four coasters here, and these took seven minutes to cut out four of them, which isn't very long at all. We personally don't make very many coasters just because a lot of people sell them, and they sell them already pretty cheap. So for me at this current moment, they're just not really worth the time it costs to go into them. So I'm gonna keep these ones for myself. You can see, nice clean coasters with strips of scraps. I also put a cool little design on the bottom of each one. You can get as creative as you want. I guess you could call these little grippers. And we have a quarter inch down cut. I use this to cut out the entire things, no bit change needed, just a quarter inch down cut to cut out the design along with the cutting out the coaster itself. Thanks for checking out our video guys. Make sure you guys hop on over to Instagram, give us a follow over there. If you guys have any ideas for any future videos, let us know down in the comments. Thanks for checking out our video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And all that other stuff. Smash that like button. Smash it.